we present a novel case of a soft tissue mycobacterium colonae infection successfully treated with a tadizolid containing regimen. Mycobacterium colonae is a non-tuberculosis mycobacteria which is ubiquitous in the environment though rarely recognized as a pathogen. It has been recognized as causing infections of the soft tissue, particularly in immunocompromised individuals. Given the relatively rare occurrence of mycobacterium colonae infection, there is little clinical data to support any particular treatment regimen. This is particularly true in the setting of a multi-drug resistant infection, such as in this case. Previous studies have shown successful use of clarithromycin in conjunction with linezolid for treatment of similar infections. However, extended use of linezolid is associated with frequent and potentially severe adverse events. With this in mind, we present our case of a 37-year-old man with a history of HIV who was successfully treated for a mycobacterium colonae infection with a regimen including tadizolid. The patient was first seen in the infectious disease clinic after several months of unsuccessful treatments with oral antibiotics. He also completed a course of wound care without improvement. Cultures of the patient's wound were obtained after his visit to the ID clinic, which ultimately demonstrated multi-drug-resistant mycobacterium colonae infection. Due to the multi-drug resistance, a unique treatment regimen needed to be made for the patient. Ultimately, the decision was made to treat the patient with linazolid, azithromycin, and tobramycin initially. However, as an extended duration of four to six months of antibiotics was anticipated, linazolid was then replaced with tadizolid to minimize the potential side effects over the long course of treatment. In conjunction with early excision of the patient's abscess, he was successfully treated with a six-month course of the aforementioned antibiotics without complication, this resulted in complete resolution of his wound and infection. In conclusion, we propose treatment regimens including tadizolid as an option for treating multi-drug resistant mycobacterium colonae infections. This is of particular interest given its favorable side effect profile in comparison to linizolid. Thank you for your time.